Let's talk about today about amenorrhea. So there are two types of amenorrhea. There is primary and secondary. For the primary amenorrhea, it is mean you never menstruated. And for this one, you had menstruated before, but there is a recent absence. Probably uh, absence more than three cycles or more than six months of absence. There will be, yes, there will be some sort, there will be presence of menstruation before. Like the patient has menstruated before, but recently the patient stopped menstruated for the last three cycles or the last six months. Okay. For here, for the primary, there will be no uh sexual secondary sexual characteristics by age 13 so this is what you call uh, primary and secondary amenorrhea let's talk about the causes causes can be variety there can be uh, anatomy can be the cause right uh, for example the patient doesn't have uh, no uterus right Another can be uh, the hymen is imperforate. Okay. Second can be the chromosomal anomalies, right? Uh, such as Turner syndrome. Third can be there is a uh, hypothalamic or pituitary dysfunction. That can be these can be the cause of all primary let's talk about secondary amenorrhea for the secondary the causes can be the patient is pregnant right uh, patient is pregnant there can be ovarian failure there can be thyroid thyroid disease there can be pcos they can be menopause. Um, what else? <clears throat> there is a malnutrition also. There is a anorexia. They can be uterine issues also, such as Asherman. They can be. <coughs> These are the most most common is the pregnancy one. Okay. Now let's talk about how can we evaluate uh, primary amenorrhea. For the uh, evaluation of the primary amenorrhea, so for how we evaluate primary amenorrhea. First, when, whenever there is a menorrhea, we will do first. What we will do? We will do pelvic exam, right? Or we will do ultrasound. Pelvic exam or ultrasound. Then, uh, remember for the primary menorrhea, the patient has never menstruated. So, we have to see if the patient has uterus or not, right? For that, we will do pelvic exam or ultrasound. If if there is a uh, and we have to look for uterus right if there is a uterus present then that means <coughs> it is not anatomic issue we have to look for the hormonal issue we will check for fsh now for the fsh we will see if it is increase or decrease right if it is increased, it can be seen in what? It can be seen in Turner disease, right? Turner syndrome. That means it can be some, some sort of chromosomal issues. Uh, 